How does a camera lens capture truth? We're all interested in truth, right? I'm talking not about a mathematical proof, nor a physics account of the universe, nor the rules that govern biology or DNA. This is all, of course, crucially important, but it is not the subject of this reflection. I am talking actually more about the truth that sets us free. What Eric Davis calls poetic truth, or the realm of poetic facts. Early humans sat around the campfire and told stories. Storytelling, it is said, helps us structure and pattern the mind. We can't think about our own thinking without some kind of autobiographical storytelling that contextualizes us as free agents operating in the world. And so we use stories, we use myths to understand ourselves, to gain insight into ourselves. And yet, in empirical terms, myths are fictions. How to reconcile then the fact that something like a myth, like a story, can be fiction from the outside, but true from the inside. True in that its lessons are real, its lessons are valuable, its lessons have something objectively important to teach us about ourselves and about the world, right? And thus, they are useful fiction, they are truthful fictions. It's uncanny how this works, the paradoxicality of storytelling, right? You've heard the line that says sometimes fiction is more truthful than reality. We rely upon novelists to conjure up worlds from their imagination, to exteriorize their flights of fancy, to construct, to concoct worlds of fiction, manufactured realities within which, of course, we can find great truth. This extends as well to cinema, to all forms of art. Cinema is truth 24 times per second, 24 frames per second of truth in the movies. Right? Art is the lie that reveals the truth. This, this, this is fascinating to me. You know, Alan de Botton as well, he says, poetry, right? Subjective truth may be less accurate than journalism in describing the details of an event, but may nevertheless reveal truths beyond the literal grid. So the truth of myth, the truth of music, the truth of fiction, the truth of poetry is beyond naive realism. And this is fascinating to me because to account for the human experience, one must account for both sides, right? For science and art, for empirical truth and poetic truth. And Ursula Le Guin tried to reconcile these worlds in her famous idiom, her famous quote that science describes accurately from the outside, but that poetry describes accurately from the inside that science, that objectivity explicates, but that poetry implicates. We both celebrate what they describe. Or that line in Dead Poet Society when Robin Williams tells us, of course, that science, engineering, mathematics, these are noble pursuits necessary to sustain life. But poetry, love, fiction, art, these are the things we stay alive for. Being a aspiring artist and a truth lover and a light chaser, I need to find ways of intermediating, right? Mathematical truth, objective truth with the truth that sets us free. So at the risk of repeating myself, let us together in concert reaffirm that something can be false from the outside, but true from the inside. That there is utility 
in truthful fiction, that art can be the lie that reveals the truth, and that without music, life would be a mistake. This, my friends, is what I believe. This fuels the work that I do, the content that I make, the songs that I sing, the tightrope that I walk, the line I tow between chaos and order, the flow I find between discipline and surrender. This is how we find our way. This is how all contradictions are reconciled, and this is how we surpass the gods. <sighs> yes. Cheers.